Now, there are two other things here before we approach, work to do before we approach, and that is how to hold the cue. We touched on this a little bit last time, but I just want to repeat the general idea and perhaps give you a couple of other bonus, uh, couple of other details here. So the first one is <clears throat> holding the cue as you will finish the shot. So if, for example, if I hold the cue here as normal, <clears throat> that's where I hold the cue, then the idea is to, where I finish the shot, I want to start the shot. And starting the shot means before you approach, actually. That's the start of the shot, before you begin the approach. So you hold the same form of grip, the same tension in the same position. I see a lot of players getting down onto a shot and they're in here somewhere or doing something a bit weird like this. And then they've got all this adjustment and wriggling and twisting and checking the hand and where shall I hold it and all this type of adjustment. It's too late. You need to have done that before you approach. It's get that work done before you approach. It will make you much more efficient and gracious and elegant as an approachee. And then the other thing is the bridge hand. Where should the bridge hand be? Again, we touched on this last last month, but the important thing I've found is to get that thumb, if we zoom in here a little bit, get that thumb underneath the hand, uh, sorry, underneath the cue. Why? Because you've already formed the bridge hand then. That's a bridge hand, isn't it? With thumb and finger tightly stuck together. Put it upside down and your bridge is already formed there. So it could, might be easier just to do that. So grip hand formed, bridge hand formed, and just slide into the shot. That's a good starting point to train your body to get the bridge hand formed before you approach. And not only any bridge hand, a low bridge hand for screw shots and a high bridge hand for topspin. You need to form the height of the bridge before you approach the table. Because I see a lot of players, they get down to the shot and their tip might be dead centre. And then they think, oh, no, 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 I, I need to go a bit lower on the cue. Well, I know, a bit higher. I want you to learn to go straight directly to the height you are addressing with no adjustments allowed. That will make you a more consistent cueist give you less chance to come off the line when you when you get down to the shop. So that could do for a starter and then the more advanced way is you'll see what Ronnie does, the opposite of that. So as he approaches you can see his hand, he's got quite a quick flick. So this is what it looks like. See that? If you put the thumb over the cue, it's more work to get the thumb under the cue and it can just slow you down on approach. 